Hi, Dr. Dave here, your New York City chiropractor and director of Synergy Wellness Chiropractic and Physical Therapy in New York City. We're going to get right into it. 22 of my favorite exercises and stretches for costochondritis and thoracic mobility. Check it out. First exercise is the sideline trunk rotation. Lie on your side with both hips and knees flexed to 90 degrees or more. Rotate your trunk so your head and both arms are facing the ceiling. While keeping the elbows straight, punch with the arm opposite to the rotation side and pull with the same side arm, creating additional trunk rotation. Size number two, middle trunk rotation. Lie on your side, bend your hips, knees up to your chest and slide your top knee forward to lock out the motion in the lower back and pelvis. Stick your chest out and roll back until the motion stops. Attempt to feel a stretch in the mid back or mid chest area. Release any tight areas that you may find with your top hand or a massage tool as needed. Stop if you get pain or discomfort. Extend your arm for an advanced stretch by reaching out. Size three, contract, relax, rotation. Lay on your side with your legs bent all the way up and your knees stacked. Raise your arm and roll it back, opening up the chest. Make sure you keep your arm in line with the collarbone to preserve the shoulder's integrity. Think about bringing your shoulder blade down to the floor when you reach the end range. Lift your knees and breathe out, contracting your abs. Relax and lower your arm further. Repeat as prescribed. Exercise four, the Bretzel Stretch. Lie on your side with your neck supported. Bend your knees and hips just short of 90 degrees. Hold the top knee with the bottom hand and move your bottom leg backwards, bringing your thigh as far behind the plane of your body as possible. Then bend the knee as much as possible and try to grasp your ankle with your hand. It is possible to use a belt or strap if your flexibility is limited. Once in this position, contract your top leg glutes, butt muscles, and your bottom leg quads, thigh muscles. Aim to bring your top hip down and to straighten your bottom leg while resisting the movement with your hands. Hold this contraction for five seconds then relax and immediately rotate your top shoulder toward the floor so you face the ceiling, helping the movement with your head, looking where you're heading. Don't give any slack in your legs as you turn. Repeat the contraction and relax as described. Exercise five, spine rotation mobilization. Lay down on your back with your knees bent and arms stretched out to the sides. Exhale, then drop both knees to one side and turn your head towards the opposite side. Come back to the center on inhale and repeat on the other side. Exercise six, prone scorpion. Lie on your stomach with your legs straight, feet together, and arms in a cross position, 90 degrees to the body. Keeping your shoulders down against the floor, bring your right foot up and across your body, contracting your buttock to touch your left hand. The right hip can lift off the floor. Slightly bend your knee and point your toes. Return slowly to the starting position and repeat with the opposite leg. Exercise seven, thoracic rotation. Start on your knees with your buttocks on your heels and one arm down on the floor between your knees. Put the other hand behind your lower back, rotate the torso as much as possible without losing your original position. Repeat on the other side. Exercise eight, thoracic rotation. 
This is a variation on exercise seven. Start on your knees with your butt on your heels and one arm down on the floor between your knees. Put the other hand behind your head this time. And lift your elbow up and rotate the torso as much as possible without moving your hips. Do this on the other side and repeat as recommended. Exercise number nine, type one, T-spine matrix. Sit down in a chair with your feet elevated on a step or a box. Reach across your body with one hand as you rotate your torso and side bend toward the opposite side, reaching up and over your head with your other hand. Repeat on both sides. Exercise number 10, type two T-spine matrix. Sit down on a chair with your feet elevated on a step or a box. Reach with one hand to the side to rotate your torso. As you side bend toward that side by reaching up and over your head with your other hand. Exercise 11, thoracic spine stretch. Start half kneeling next to a wall with the leg closest to the wall in front. Rotate the trunk toward the wall and place one hand on the wall and the other hand on the knee to assist the rotation. Hold the stretch for the recommended time. Keep the spine tall during the stretch and repeat on both sides. Use a pillow or a cushion under your knee if sensitive. Exercise 12. Rubber exercise with a TheraBand. Sit on a chair with your arms relaxed on your sides. Hold the ends of the TheraBand secured to an object located in front of you. Rotate your arms so your thumbs point backward in order to open the chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep your chin tucked in and hold this position for the recommended time. Exercise 13, scapular retraction with TheraBand. Wrap a band around your hands with your palms facing forward and thumbs pointing out. Squeeze your shoulder blades back and down as you rotate your arms out and away from your body to bring the thumbs in a hitchhiker position, palms facing out. Maintain the elbows fully extended during this exercise. Exercise 14, rugger with elbows bent. Stand or sit with a TheraBand wrapped around your hands. Begin with your elbows bent at 90 degrees and arms down against your sides. Your palms will be facing each other. First, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Next, spread your hands apart and create resistance into the band. Rotate your shoulders in this motion until your hands are in line with the sides of your body. From there, keep your shoulders down while you extend at the elbows using a slow controlled motion, return to the starting position by bending the elbows and by allowing your hands to return towards midline. Repeat exercise as directed. Exercise 15, lower trap retraction on the wall. Stand facing a wall, rest the side of your hands and forearms on the wall. Pinch your shoulder blades down and in and slide your arms up the wall. In the hand top position, lift one arm off the wall at a time with your shoulder blades down and in. Lower the arms and repeat the exercise. Exercise 16, serratus punch varied position. In a seated position, raise the affected arm in front of the body at 30 degrees. With your arms straight, press your fingertips forward, reaching far forward. Slowly return to the start position and repeat the exercise at 60, 90, and 120 degrees. 
exercise 17, thoracic extension mobility. I'll leave links for where you can get a foam roller. Place your foam roller on the floor and lie on your back with your knees bent and the foam roller at the level of your shoulder blades. With your arms behind your head, lower your head as close as you can to the floor until you feel a stretch behind your back. Maintain your abs tight and proper low back posture during this exercise. Exercise 18, thoracic extension rotation. Lie on the floor over a foam roller with the roll perpendicular to your body at the mid back. With your knees bent and interlaced hands supporting under the back of the head. Keep the lower core activated and the lower back curled and the chin tucked throughout the exercise. Drop back over the foam roll, creating an arch in the mid back and rotate at the same time toward one side. Be sure not to arch the lower back or neck. Return to the starting position and repeat, turning to the other side. Lats and quadratus lumborum stretch in the doorway. Stand sideways in a doorway with the toes almost touching the door frame not the side with the door attached. Place your hands on the opposite side to stretch. If stretching the right side, place your hands on the left side of the door frame. Keeping your body aligned and glide your pelvis toward the stretched side to feel a comfortable stretch along the side of your back. Repeat to the other side. Exercise 20, pectoral ribs release. Lay on your stomach with a ball under your chest, slightly below your clavicle. First, roll side to side over the ball to massage the chest muscle. You can pause over a tender spot and exhale to release it further. Next, reach up with your arm and place the ball under your armpit to release the ribs in that area. Prevent the ball from going lower than the nipple line. Exercise 21, I've showed in some other videos, it's also called the wall angel, the slow scapular wall slide. Stand with your back and buttocks against the wall. Your feet can be slightly in front. Place your head, chin tucked, your shoulders, elbows, and wrists against the wall with the shoulders and elbows at 90 degrees, keeping the entire body in contact with the wall. Slowly slide your arms upward along the wall. Breathe normally during the movement and slowly return to the initial position. And we're going to finish off costochondritis and thoracic mobility exercise program with exercise 22, back muscle stretching. Some of you have seen this or done this in yoga class. Start on all fours, round your back by pushing down on your hands and hold the position for the recommended time. Without moving your hands, lower your buttocks onto your heels. Then move your hands forward. Hold the stretch for the prescribed time. One last thing. Tell me what you think in comments below. I went to film school before I got my doctorate. I do all the writing, directing, producing, sound, editing, and the cool special effects you see here. Folks, I'm not asking for an Academy Award or an Oscar, just a simple thumbs up if you like my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest, greatest content on YouTube. Thank you, appreciate all of you.